Hi everyone, it's Shay. Welcome to or back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video just to recap some of my plans for the new year because a lot of people have been asking me things like, are you gonna stay in Italy and stuff like that? So I wanted to clear that up so everyone knows. Also, I wanted to talk about some things that I have encountered now after living here. Things that I forgot that I had to consider <laughs> when moving to a new country. Things like I have to do my taxes soon. Things like finding doctors. Um, when you have certain issues that maybe in your home country it's a lot easier to figure out how to do but then when you're here in Italy obviously the process is different. So I wanted to talk about a few of those things as well. Okay so first off to get right into it, will I be living in Italy in 2023? Ideally, yes. <laughs> I decided to renew my student visa, so I'll just be staying, uh, studying at the school. But by now, all the teachers know me, the wonderful guy who runs the school is amazing, and I really like that my school is very lenient. Uh, they don't do attendance or anything, so it's really like if you want to come to school every day, you can, but you don't get punished if you don't come one day or, you know, a lot of people will take vacations and that's totally fine. That's why I wanted to continue at the school because, okay, obviously I still have a lot to learn in Italian, but I don't necessarily have to go every single day after the one year mark because I'm also working and I think it's better to have the option to come uh, when I need some review, but uh, right now, sometimes in class, even when we do certain lessons, I've been doing the same exercises that I did a few months ago. Um, so that just happens, obviously, because I'm one of the few people who have been here for such a long time. So yes, I will be staying here on a student visa. I just renewed my permesso di soggiorno, which uh, a lot of people don't understand. If you come on a visa, so I came on a student visa, and then once you get to Italy, you have to go to the Questura and fill out all the paperwork to uh, get your permesso di soggiorno, and that is what allows you to live here and stay here. Once your visa expires, you can renew your permesso di soggiorno. You don't have to go back to your home country and get a new visa. For example, I just stayed in Italy, basically did the whole permesso di soggiorno process again. So that's a common misconception. I didn't have to go back to the US and wait to get my new permesso. But something that a lot of people don't know is that when you are in the process of waiting for your renewed permesso, you actually can't leave Italy. You can only go back to your home country and directly back to Italy, but that just wasn't really an option for me because it's really hard to find flights directly from my home back to Italy. Usually there's like a layover in Germany or France or Spain or something and that you wouldn't be allowed to do that because you would have to come straight back to Italy. Uh, so I just waited until I got my second permesso and now I could travel wherever I want. Which, in fact, I am actually going to be going back to the US uh, at the end of March, beginning of April. So I'm very excited because after a year away, like, it'll be... The dates that I'm looking at will actually be basically exactly one year in Italy and then I go, <laughs> and then I go home uh, to the US to visit. So I'm very excited because I'm going to go to a few different places to see some friends and family. Um, so I think I'll probably do some videos of that just to see what it's like. I'm so curious after a year of being away how it's gonna feel being back in the US. But I'm very excited because I do miss a lot of things, but it does feel like home here now for me. So I mean, obviously I'm excited that I'll be coming back to Italy afterwards. And then I'll have a permesso until October of this year. So basically what I'm trying to do is wait until the digital nomad visa is available. If you don't know, uh, last year Italy actually passed a law to allow a digital nomad visa, which basically says that you have to have a job outside of Italy. You have to be able to work 100% remote and then some other like minimum income requirements and stuff like that. But it would be so perfect for me and my situation. And I'm just waiting for that because finding a job here is way too difficult. Uh, I don't want to be a student forever. I don't want to just keep renewing my student visa and obviously it costs money to go to school and ideally I would have this digital nomad visa but unfortunately they passed it last year in March and they still haven't gotten around to actually putting it into effect so you can't apply for it yet. No one really knows exactly when it will be ready but I think I'm kind of just buying myself time in the hopes that I'll be able to apply for it at least by the end of this year or beginning of next year so Maybe if I have to go back to the States in October, November, I can kind of like spend the holidays there uh, because I would have to be out of Italy for 90 days. 
I would hope, I would hope by then the digital nomad visa is ready because then I could come back on that and that would be for a year and you can renew and that is the plan for now, just buying time until I can switch to the work visa, which would be the digital nomad visa. But again, with Italy, everything's always up in the air, so who knows? And then as far as some other things that I have to think about this year, as I mentioned in the beginning, taxes, I am very stressed out about that. If you are an expat or you're watching this and you've gone through something similar and you have any sort of resources, definitely message me on Instagram or comment below because I'm not sure how to navigate this. Like, I'm not sure if I need to get some, like a tax person here in Italy to help as well as someone in the US or just someone in the US who understands also like expat situations and paying taxes when you live outside of the US. But I definitely need someone to help me because I don't wanna submit my taxes and do something wrong <laughs> because I know that I'm supposed to pay something here because I've lived here for the majority of the last year. But it's a little complicated because I did live in the US in the first few months and then I also was getting my full-time salary, so the taxes were already being taken out. But then I switched to freelancer, kind of like project-based stuff, while I was here in Italy. But for companies that are based in the US. Anyway, it's very complicated. But uh, I definitely will be documenting some of that stuff on my Instagram, because uh, a lot of people have asked me to share that, which I definitely want to, because I'm learning as I go. And it's something that I didn't really consider, because I thought I would only be here not that long. <laughs> Once I figure that out, I'll let you know. Also things like health insurance because I just had like a student health insurance that I got from this website. They provide the emergency medical coverage that you need, but it's obviously not, it doesn't cover as much as it would if you got like the national health insurance card, which is something like the testata of like the health insurance. That's another thing I want to explore because I've had issues getting prescriptions here, which is so frustrating. So I think it would be a lot better if I just had like a set doctor here, because that's something I want to do as well. Having a doctor, uh, you know, dentist, like things like that, that you just need to have checkups and you need to have things done. And obviously since now I know I want to live here long term, like those are things that I have to figure out how to do, because <laughs> I can't just not go to the doctor. If you are in Italy and you just, you're here for a short time or you just need something quick, actually the website Doctors in Italy is really helpful. I've used them a lot and you can do telehealth to get a prescription for something simple or maybe just a refill of something you've used a lot. Super helpful, always, the doctors that I've talked to have always been very nice. So definitely recommend if you're in Italy and you need something, but you don't know where to go. As far as housing, I do want to get, I do want to move uh, apartments because I'll have this apartment until early April. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually moving to an apartment. Uh, there's a woman at my school who has an apartment here because she's also trying to stay here long term, but she's going to be going back to the States for a few months. So it kind of works out perfectly because uh, I can just use i can just stay in her apartment for the months while she's out while i try to find my next like long-term apartment because while i've really enjoyed this one this one was still pretty rushed in the sense that i don't know if you remember but i had so much trouble finding an apartment when i first got here i lived in four different places so once i saw this and i knew i could move in right away i just said okay yes i'll take it even though it wasn't like my dream apartment it's still it has been very nice i love this area it's a very big apartment and i feel very fortunate that i found something but i would love to take some more time uh, to find something that i really like and also now i feel better because i have the work contract now um, obviously i can speak italian better so when i call people to ask about an apartment it won't be as terrifying because <laughs> i usually hate calling people yeah so i think this next time around it should be a little bit smoother of a process and since i'll have some more time while i'm at this other woman's apartment i can you know take my time and actually find a place that i really like and then just overall people are asking me if i still like living in italy yes of course like i <laughs> it definitely feels like home now to me and i'm actually shocked that it's almost been a year like time really flies it's crazy but yeah i mean even when i walk around now i just feel way more comfortable and there's still situations where you know, I have to do something new and I'm kind of scared, oh, maybe I won't be able to communicate what I need or if I have to go to some office or something and I need to speak Italian, I always get a little bit anxious in case something doesn't work out. It's just things like that. Like sometimes I do miss being able to walk into a store or walk into an office where I need to get something done and I can easily fully communicate with someone to explain what I need done. 
But for the most part, I mean, I'm super happy with my life here. My routines and habits are definitely a little bit different, but I really like it. I really like my routine of going to school and coming back and working. And it's so easy to meet with friends because in Bologna, everything is so close. Like I can just text my friends and be like, hey, do you wanna go get coffee right now? Or do you wanna get uh, dinner or drinks tonight? And it's super easy to do that because everyone is just, you know, they live like close to the center and you can hang out very easily. Whereas in LA, I had to make plans with my friends like a month in advance <laughs> to be able to see them. I've said this before, but my life I would say is just more simple but I like that. I don't feel like I'm constantly rushing around trying to do a bunch of things or feeling like sometimes in the US, big cities always feel like everyone's in a rush and there's so much chaos, but here it's just so nice. Like sometimes if I don't know what to do, I'll just take a walk and listen to a podcast. And you know, obviously the scenery is so beautiful. Like the other night we had this amazing sunset. It's not like I'm doing anything super special, but it's just, it feels special to me because the environment and like the architecture and everything is so different to me. So it is always exciting, like even if I'm doing the most basic thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously I wish I wish it was easier to be able to live here without having to do all the bureaucratic stuff of visas and permits to stay and that's always a nightmare. But for me, it's worth it because I know how happy I am here and I want to stay. I really, really do. And I have made a lot of good friends now. Um, I'm getting better at making friends who actually are, are living here or will stay here for a long amount of time because that was one thing I struggled with in the beginning at school obviously a lot of people only stayed for a few weeks a few months and then they would leave now I have friends here who actually live here and they'll be here <laughs> so that has definitely helped as well so yeah I feel like I've built like this community here and I have friends here and things that make me feel like it makes it feel a lot more like home and I'm super excited for when it gets warmer in the summer because I have some travel plans with friends and I can't wait to like explore more of Italy and so I'd say overall very happy very positive about the future and even when times are really hard like I panic because I'm like how am I gonna be able to live here or stay here I know I can always find a way to figure it out like even though it will be difficult obviously it was difficult to move here in the first place and a lot of people I think doubted me that I could actually do it but here I am <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this little update I know it was kind of random, but if you have any other questions, feel free to message me on Instagram. A lot of you are messaging me about my school and Italy and wanting to come to a language program for the summer. That's amazing. And I am always happy to help you guys. Feel free to reach out. Follow me on Instagram because I will be more active sharing like taxes and other stuff I have to go through. And then of course, stay tuned for when I do go back to the US because I'm excited to share my experience of what it's like going back after a year. Uh, but I will see you all soon. I hope to make more videos more regularly. Sometimes I'm not the best at keeping up with it. But anyways, um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon.